Greetings, my peeps. I am John the Verbose, and this video is my YouTube Pagan Challenge video for week 33 on what is your favorite pagan music? Well, if I hadn't mentioned it before, and if you hadn't seen me in some of my older videos, uh, you would know that uh, in, well, at least in my college years, I was very much a goth. And to be honest, I still consider myself to be a goth though I just don't wear the uniform. You know, the black clothes, the, the lipstick that's black, the eyeliner. I still love the black lipstick because I haven't used it all that often. And, uh, oh, and I still got some of the black nail polish that hasn't congealed yet. Uh, though, but I, I really don't dress the part anymore, but I still listen to the music. Um, and I especially have my, like, favorite gothic rock playlist that I start playing in September through November. So it's like autumn is definitely my time to listen to just mostly gothic rock. And I try to add something to it every year. But as far as pagan music goes, um, when I was in college, one of my favorite bands to listen to, and I've still been listening, like I was listening to it today at work, uh, was the band Incubus Succubus. And I've never cared to do the research to find out if they actually are pagan. I really think they are. Um, but there's the song Witches Chant 98, which was, like, really, really cool. And I still really like that one. And it's an invocation of, of the goddess. And in a very choral sense... So that song is definitely on my autumn playlist. Uh, also, there are other goth bands that, that, well, goth bands in general, a lot of them tend to draw on the occult. And one of my all-time favorite bands is The Machine in the Garden. And they have a lot of occult-themed songs. ever heard of that that church lady's warning that it's a slippery slope <laughs> it's one of those slippery slopes well for me yeah it's like before I was really really a druid um, I was listening to the gothic rock and and that was part of my own slippery slope into into paganism um, so there's no denying that it's true <laughs> um, and and then one of my other songs that isn't actually pagan but I use it in my practice a lot is the song God in Heaven by Soul Whirling Somewhere. Soul Whirling Somewhere is kind of a, a dark wave or dark ambient uh, one person gig and he's just got these these distant airy vocals uh, kind of dreadfully macabre topics if you actually listen to the vocals like the song titled I Should Throw Myself Under a Train which I don't really particularly care for but most of his other music is really awesome and the song God in Heaven is this 11 minute wall of ambient sound that is awesome for meditating to it's, it has a lot it's all synth and so if you're okay with synthesized ambient airy music then then that's a really good song you should check it out um, other than that I don't have anything else this stands out as far as favorite pagan music because I don't really stick to that genre as much um, so that is my video for week 33 thank you for watching and we will see you next week